वंदेय श्रीगुरा श्रीजुत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवा श्री शाजीव शैत शबूत परीजन सहिता कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रे राधा कृष्ण पाद सगन ललिता विशाखानित भज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नंदो श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौर भक्त वृंदो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ऑल ग्लोरिस टू श्री गुरु एंड गौरांग ऑल ग्लोरिस टू श्री गुरु परंपरा All glories to Hare Krishna Mahamantra Sankirtan. All glories to His Divine Grace, Achyutananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur. All glories to Hari Nam Chintamani. All glories to my spiritual master, His Divine Grace, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Thakur. All glories to my grand spiritual master, His Divine Grace, Shla Prabhu Pad Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur. All glories, all glories, all glories. So today, actually yesterday I reached in Mayapur. It was challenge, but somehow or other I managed. Managed to come. So let me check. Is anybody sending any message for me or not? Any questions? Okay. There is no message today. Any questions? So today I feel a little bit better. Therefore, I explained to Gopal to arrange the class. Also, tomorrow, tomorrow means Kalke. Kalke. Tomorrow from. instead of 3 of 3 pm i will give bengali class from 4 pm kal ke so i have to speak in bengali little bit because they should know tomorrow also bengali class will start so agami kal ami 4 te theke class debo bengali jeram dichhilam 
अंतलीला चैतन्य भागवत प्रथम अध्याय एनीवे टुडे वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट दैट हरिनाम चिंतामणि बट जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग द हरिनाम चिंतामणि क्लास मोस्ट प्रोबेबली देयर इज नो वन डिवोटी टुडे बिकॉज विदाउट नोटिस राइट इज एनीबॉडी देयर मेनी ओह ताज सो एनीवे so today i have to give class on chaitan uh, hari naam chintamani as i am giving every day uh, uh, in english language so so we have to say fault arise from discontinuity fault arise from discon continuity discontinuity discontinuity so kintu there is a bhakta bhaktunath was says kintu vaibhavite vaibhavite means opulences discontinuity hole hoy aparad vyabohite vyabohite अभहित मान मीन्स अभहित मीन्स एक्चुअली डिसकटिन्यूटी हय अपराध से अपराधे हय प्रेम लाभ बाद मीन्स इफ वी हैव लाइक वी आर चंटिंग वी आर वी बिकम instead of chanting will give us humility tolerance but instead of that discontinuity means there is ah uh, there is our pop material recognition appreciation name and fame distinction desire coming to our to us that is the symptom of offenses as soon as as soon as we have such type of tendency to get name and fame we don't care about others we can just like uh, uh, our reach our goal i have to recognize i have to uh, appreciate to appreciate by the audience but vaishnava what vaishnava culture it is representing what humility humility tolerance ha uh, tolerance when like a tree lord chaitanya says trinad pishu niche na tarori va shishnu na this is the definition of vaishnava amani na mano de na kirtaniya sadari means one vaishnava his symptom like this this is explained by lord chaitanya who is lord chaitanya lord chaitanya is supreme lord actually krishna in the form of lord chaitanya supreme lord sri krishna who manifests past time in vrindavan that same krishna appear in the form of lord chaitanya ha uh, he composed the text what text what i explained trinada pishuni chena means humble like a blade of grass taro ri va sahishnu na taru means tree tree tolerance like a tree amani what i explained before completely free from material name fame distinction appreciation such type of desire and then mano de no respect everyone we can say negative things but not appreciating but we have to speak vaishnava manner I can give an example when Lord Chaitanya heard that 
Bharati Gosai came. The Bharati Gosai wearing tiger skin. In front of Bharati Gosai, Lord Chaitanya asking everyone, where is Bharati Gosai? Everybody becomes surprised. What you're talking about? This is Bharati Gosai. Then Lord Chaitanya says, Gosai never wear any violence outfit. Just tiger skin. Such type of, no? He's not criticizing, he's just trying to teach very soft manner. My spiritual master also used to say, Vaishnava, they may see the fault of others, like someone stealing something and pretending like he is our friend and sit, sit, sitting with us. What I am searching valuable thing, what already someone stole, then I then I saw that person sitting next to you and it is in his pocket. Although you explain everyone, everyone refuse it. If you explain everyone, I lost these things, if someone get it from here or not, saw it from here or not, and everyone refused it. But you saw, he kept in his pocket. So as a Vaishnava, our, our approach should be like this way. Most probably by mistake, you are keep your, my valuable things, what I'm searching now, it is in your pocket. Is it, is it possible for you to give me back? That approach. Vaishnava approach should be such type of approach. But nowadays, there is uh, very difficult to find such type of uh, such type of nature of Vaishnava. Whatever, you know, there is explanation in English words, something is better than nothing. So we have to believe that something is better than nothing. Whatever we are able to find out now, we have to accept it. At least Vaishnava symbol is there. But nature still not getting yet. You know? Actually, if you look, if person is not symptomatic of Vaishnava, just like a structure, Vaishnava structure, but there's a character is not the you know, symptom. In his character, in their character, there is no symptom. We have to know. He is trying, we have to respect them. Uh, we have to respect them. Why? Because he is aspiring Vaishnava. Why nowadays so much discontinuity, so much discrimination amongst the Vaishnavas? Different unit, they are not agree amongst each other. They are, most of the time, they are quarreling. Why? Because of this, we are not to, we are not able to reach to the Vaishnava quality. Yes, I some myself also. Therefore, sometimes I become angry. You may know. Uh -huh. So anyway, so this is the Bhakti Manatha could explain. Kintu boi boi. Vyabohite hole hoya aparad. What I explain? Amani mano deno. Amani, I already explained you. Mano deno, respect everyone. Keeping due respect to everyone. Uh, so my spiritual master explained. Vaishnava tendency should be like that. Vaishnava nature should be like this, that. So if we say, I am Vaishnava, I am chanting several months or several years, several, I am chanting 70 years, but its behavior really uh, rebellious rebe behavior, you have to know, still this person is not in the level of the pure devotee, aspiring Vaishnava. Shai apara dehaya premola bhobad. 
if there is any offer of radha especially especially nama paradha other aparad nama parad first aparad means sadhu ninda <laughs> blaspheming to sadhu like here is so many sadhu all of your all, all the audience you are sadhu because you are searching eternity through chanting hare krishna maha mantra eternity is supreme lord supreme lord abode supreme lord himself through chanting means you are chanting hare krishna maha mantra you are chanting hare krishna maha mantra you are chanting hare krishna maha mantra means it is you are chanting hare krishna maha mantra means you are you are searching eternity supreme lord supreme lord abode why because supreme lord in this age age of deception supreme lord always in his name you know there is explanation in krishna namasta mane uh, yeah namastakam na shikshastakam shikshastakam second sloko nam namakari bahuda nija sarva shakti nija sarva shakti all potency bahuda means Krish, lord krishna appear with so many names krishna govinda madan mohan gopina so many names purpose to deliver us and lord says there is no any time bar days code place code just like a simply chant wherever you are we can be delivered but you know at the end explanation is this nam nam kahi bahuda nija sarva shakti statva arpita niyamita smarane na kalam एतादृशी तब कृपा भगवन मापी दुर्दैव मीदृश मिहाजनी नानु दुर्दैव मीन्स मिसफर्चून व्हाट इज दर व्हाट इज अर मेन मिसफर्चून रियल मिसफर्चून इज अपराध ऑफेन्सिव टेन्डेन्सी सो मेनी वे अपराध काम इवीन आई एम सन्यासी आई एम सन्यासी इफ आई फील i am a, i am a higher than everyone everybody should respect me everybody should pay pay me obeisances prostrated obeisances not only just folded palm hare krishna maharaj not like that if i think about it in our mind you have to know such understanding is also offensive in vaishnava culture if i look okay this sadhu is useless that sadhu is useless i am only useful offense anyway we are whenever we committed offense to our sadhu everything stops jagadananda pandit prem vivarta he has explain koti janma korelo napa krishner charan koti janma means one crore means 10 million times if you get human form and chant every life every day every life you are chanting maybe 192 round, not only 16 round 192 round but still jagadananda prabhu jagannath jagadananda pandit in his prem vivarta book he says that koti janma korilo but 10 million times if they take bath in human form and chant hare krishna maha mantra still he become unqualified to reach the lotus feet of krishna just to think about uh, mahaprabhu lord chaitanya lord chaitanya he also explained 
if Vaishnav Aparat taking place in our life, our chanting will not be counted. Our puja will not be accepted by Lord at all. In this regard, I can give an example that there is a famous black magician name is uh, Chapal Gopal. Chapal Gopal, out of jealousy, he committed offense to Shivash Pandit. I think I explained several times this, this past times, this incident. So I don't like to go through details. Due to the offerad, offense, what offense? Actually, Shivash Pandit house, Lord Chaitanya used to come and manifest Sankirtan, that Sankirtan vibration purifying everybody's heart, surrounding neighbors, surrounding uh, peoples. So they have, they have, they are getting sound faith towards Shivash Pandit towards Lord Chaitanya, towards the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Sankirtan. They are leaving before everybody used to like the Chapal Gopal's tantric, black magic. But now they are leaving. Therefore, Chapal Gopal felt jealousy in order to make people understand that what he is doing in his territory they are doing the same thing. Therefore, he kept uh, beef, hasbiscus flower. Hasbiscus flower means in Bengali called Jabba pool. Um, and wine, such type of things. He kept in front of the Sivas Pandit door. But Sivas Pandit, morning when he saw it, you know, Vaishnava always hiding themselves. Real Vaishnava's tendency to hide themselves. Not to become popular, not to publicize. Nowadays, because of the preaching strategy have been changed, we are thinking that he is that much higher Vaishnava, how much he has center, how much opulent center he has, how much uh, disciples he has, but how many disciples he has, uh, how many number of temple he has, opulence manner, that person is higher sadhu. What Vaishnava community, Vaishnava culture, Vaishnava tradition, he says, Apana bhajana katha nakaya jatha tatha. Whatever you have realization of, of your spiritual practice, whatever we have realization of, uh, of our practice, spiritual practice, we should not disclose publicly here and there. Why? If we do so, that is a symptom of name and fame, desire. I can give an example for your understanding. Just simply, just simply, you show your dream. Maybe so, maybe you are just manipulating. I don't know. Many people publicly explain, I saw in the dream, Lord Chaitanya came or Lord Krishna came or Radharani came and touched my head and Radharani blessed me. Huh? Radharani says, go, uh, preach that place, preach that place, spread my message. So I actually appointed by Shimati Radharani. Uh, but public emotion, all he will, him, he will attract. Public emotion come to him and then everybody feel, oh, I am such a, Hi, I am such a, I want to initiate 
by him because he is appointed by Radharani. Listen, whatever Radharani may give instruction, but it should not be publicly. You can try. Radharani, I blessed by Radharani, we should not publicly disclose. We have to keep hide ourselves. Why? But this is the tradition. Vaishnava tradition like that. Huh? So, what to do? We got rather an instruction to go and preach. We can do it. But we should not see, say, everyone, this, I saw a dream, in the dream I got, uh, I got, I got the instruction from Radharani, therefore I am preaching. Just such, such type of tendency when we have, that, that is a tendency to get name and fame, expand our name and fame. That's all. Tapana Vajana Katha Nakaya Jata Tata. This is instructed by Bhaktivinat Thakur. So we have to, we should not disclose our spiritual realization in public. That is the meaning. So we have to, we have to follow his instruction. Bhaktivinat Thakur is our life and soul for spiritual practice. So I hope you understand what I want to say. So the, therefore, it's such aparad taking place, such name and fame taking place in our consciousness, we have to know how premo labho badho means the obstacles to get prema bhakti means pure love for Krishna. The obstacle to get the pure love for Krishna, what is what we are searching for? What is our what is, what goal we have to attain? That is, we have to attain the goal. Krishna Prema means pure love for Krishna. Huh? Krishna Prema. So you have to always think about. You are chanting for not for become acharya. You are we are chanting not to be. We are chanting not to uh, appreciated by public. We are chanting to attain pure love for Krishna. That teach our ultimate goal. Huh? If you are not in that realization, you are not able to be humble. Like a nectar, you have, you already got it. Is someone coming with some different of sweet, like a, like a rasgulla, gulab jamun. We don't care about that. I have nectar. Why I don't go to run? Why I run behind that Rasgulla, Gulab Jaman, Halwa, Puri? Hmm? So think about it. Huh? So be careful about offense. This Sadhu Ninda, apart from Sadhu Ninda, whatever offenses are there, Nama Parad, Dhamma Parad, Vaish. Uh, Shiva Parad, 32 Shiva Parad, 10 Dhamma Parad, and 10 Nama Parad. Total 52 Aparad. But only one Aparad, Sadhu Ninda, blaspheming to Sadhu, is dangerous. Other Aparad we may do, but everything can be diluted through chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. But Sadhu Ninda will not, is not possible to dilute it or illuminate it by any way. Hmm. So think about it and progress accordingly. Chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra and 
think about the Lord, don't think about popularity. Just think about Lord, Lord abode, Lord services. Don't think about popularity, appreciation, recognition. What is this, the meaning of popularity? Don't think about it. Huh? You have to know, my spiritual master used to say, whenever we uplifted our spiritual position, appreciation, popularity may come, but we should not involve we should not involve ourselves. If we think about it, oh, look, how many followers I have, how much appreciation I got. Look, such type of tendency, which considered like uh, popularity, name, fame, desire. So my spiritual master used to say, used to say, uh, one practitioner, sadhaka, easily can control their lust, anger, greed, madness, bewildered, moho. But it is difficult for them to control the uh, uh, <coughs> Matsarjo, enviousness. Why? Because who has name, fame, distinction, and desire, they have this enviousness, jealousy. How this Chapal Gopal got it. The Chapal Gopal, when he was committed offense to Sivas Pandit, the Sivas Pandit. Next day, early morning, when he opened the door and he saw, when he saw all these things, and he called all the neighbor, you know, he called all the neighbor and explained, look, all of you are, all of you are thinking, I am, we, are, we are a pure people, but we are not pure people. Look, we are doing so. Because Vaishnava doesn't want to recognize it. Real Vaishnava doesn't want to be recognized. This is the nature of Vaishnava. Other people, other people, you can see, other people, they may recognize him. But real Vaishnava never ever <coughs> criticize anyone. I saw my grandfather. Grandfather was Madan Mohan Prabhu. Of course, maternal grandfather, Madan Mohan Prabhu used to say, All my godfather, they are self realized person. Why? Means that Jivan Mukta Purus. <coughs> Why? He has faith. But nowadays, we are trying to blaspheme, minimizing, criticizing to God Vanars. My spiritual master, I stay from to I stay with him from 1978. Means I'm not staying closely with him, but from 78 I become connected with him. I used to go often to see him from our school, from our village. You know, and until his, uh, until his physical departure, mostly I was connected with him. I never ever heard any kind of blaspheme to any Vaishnava from his mind. I can give an example. You know, Tirtha Bhakti Vallabh Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. He was his disciple, like disciples. It was the festival, when a centennial festival of Bhakti Vilas Tirtha Goswami Maharaj in 1994, arranged by Chaitanya Mahat, 
at Calcutta at Maniktala Calcutta then. Guru Maharaj, my spiritual master, just returned from um, from uh, Kothari nursing home. He got pneumonia. He was physically really weak, physically weak. But God bothers centennial ceremony. So he was also enthusiastic. I was reluctant to bring him. I was reluctant to bring him to that function. But anyway, he was determined to go at 10 o'clock after his all the morning rituals. So he came, he said, I have to go there. I just, you know, this always he walk with my help, you know. He's catching my arms, one hand and his, one hand and a stick, he's walking like this way. I just bringing him because, bringing him, you know, my, my, my spiritual master used to say, the third floor, Bhakti Bala Tirtha Maharaj and Bhakti Bala Tirtha Goswami Maharaj used to uh, stay the next floor, down floor, second floor. So the second floor, he was, second floor, uh, when he was just rich, then he, I was pulling him the next floor. Ground floor, the first floor and the ground floor. Then he starts pushing me, or pulling me towards Bhakti Bala Tirtha Goswami room. Now first he went to Bhakti Bala Tirtha Goswami room, pay obeisance. Then next, I'm just, I'm just trying to take him to the next because Tirtha Maharaj was there. He says, I have to go there. I get, he go there. Door was closed. He never disturbed him. From this outside of his door, he says, Maharaj, <coughs> I am going now to attend that festival, that ceremony. Tirtha Goswami was inside. He spoke very soft voice. Then he came down. Then I was totally confused that Tirtha Goswami Maharaj is Disciple, like disciple of Gurudev, why is giving such respect? Realize Vaishnava community, Vaishnava tradition, Vaishnava culture, it's like that. Shakole Shaman Kurite Shakoti Deho Natha Jata Jato, Tobeto Gaibo Hurinam, Shuka Parada Havehato, means what? Means we have to respect. If we really want to chant happily without offenses, then we have to keep due respect to everyone. Keep due respect to everyone. That is the that is our Vaishnava culture. I hope you understand. This text number fifty. Finish. Then text number 51. Namo nami bheda buddhi babo dhane hai babo hi te thakile kadapi premonai. Very nice. Discontinuity means making a distinction between the name and the named. Nam and Nami. Name and the named. Babu hit thakile, babu hit thakile, kadapi premonoy, kadapi. Such discontinuity means one will never attain kadapi. Yeah? Never attain love for Krishna. Never attain love for Krishna. Namo nami avinna. In a Bengali word. Here we say, Bheda buddhi. Nam. 
and Krishna. But nowadays we may say about this just like a parrot. Parrot, they may say so many sentences, but they don't know any meaning. If we mean Namo Nami Avinna means non different from Nam and Holy Name as Supreme Lord, is non different. Then while we are chanting, we should not gossip. We should not, in, we should not involve ourselves with gossip, prajalpa. We should not spest out during the chanting. When the mind goes somewhere else, but I am chanting Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Huh? So, such type of name, tendon, such type of name, chanting holy name, it's like uh, Namo Nami Veda Vuddhi. So, we have to concentrate. Without concentration, it, it will not consider to the Nam, chanting holy, holy name. So, Namo Nami Veda Vuddhi. I saw my spiritual master used to chant very attentively. He used to just, you know, I, I saw him. I stay with him when he was already 90 years old. 90 year old. 9 0. Uh, and he was just uh, bend his neck and early morning he chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Like this. And I saw him. You know, it's not a matter of joke. Even I saw Bhakti Bala Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. When he, when he was chanting, he closed his door inside his room and he was chanting. And sometime he was chanting, I saw him in Calcutta temple, surrounding the library, Calcutta library, Baranda, just running very fast because he wants to walk. Huh? I saw that. Even I saw Bhakti, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj. He, wa, he came. Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he came. It was most probably in 2001 or 2002. Uh, our Guru Maharaj's appearance day, I invite him. In that uh, function, it was in our Vrindavan temple, Dauji, Vrindavan Dauji temple. Then, Bhakti Prasad Puri Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Narayan Goswam, as well as so many other sannyasis came to attend our Guru Maharaj's appearance festival. At that time, I saw constantly Narayan Maharaj sitting in a, on a chair and he was just closing his eyes and chanting in this way, keeping these beats. Just halfway, he closed his eyes and chanted. I feel good, you know. It, is, it should be like that. Kirtanya Sada Hari, if you want to maintain, while you are not giving discourses, you'll chant properly. Minds, what is the meaning of spirituality? Spirituality means fixing our mind towards our Lord and Lord's services. That is called spirituality. Fixing our mind. This is the most important part of our life. If we are not able to fix our mind towards Lord and Lord's services, then we are not able to deliver ourselves from this, from this miserable mundane new world. You have to know. We have to know. Therefore, whatever we will do, maybe sometime people are, you know, like, like uh, maybe four or five days ago, I was in Delhi. In one program, I just, I just explained, we have to get out from this material world. So few people understand, we have to get out from our home. Then after class, so, two, three women asking me such question. So, what is the utility? If there is no family, what, is the, what do you mean? You say, get out. 
I know this is not meaning of get out. Actually, get out means we have to fixing our mind. Uh, we have to fixing our mind towards the Lord. If we do that, do so. And during the time of physical departure, if your your mind has been fixed towards the Lord, then we will leave. We will leave this miserable mundane world. Then they say that means we have to be renounced. We have to leave our family. I know I am not able telling so. This family also belongs to Krishna. Entire universe belongs to Krishna. So we have to establish family for the service of Krishna. We have to conceive child for the service of Krishna. We have to marry for that. We are we Vaishnava never ever say just leave this everything. No. Whatever we have material duties, we have to always keep equilibrium between our material duties and spiritual practice. This is a challenge. We have to, our mind always pulling here and there, here and there, here and there. But we have to always pull our mind from that place to Lord. Lord services. I am cooking. Think I am cooking for Lord, then offer to Lord. Then we will take Lord Prashadam. Same thing we are doing, but in different understanding. So this is the criteria. Marriage, nothing bad. We have to marry. You may say, why I am not married? Huh? You may say, why Gopal not married? Huh? He is speaking so many with, with so many women, so many men, so many girls. Why not married? The so Gopal has plan to change, change all of them as the devotees, inspire them to chant. If if he has such focus, it's okay. But he has focus, if he has focus for sense and jam and desire, that is wrong. So marriage when you are doing when we are involving marriage for sense gratification, that is wrong. But when you are thinking, we have to conceive child for establishing Krishna's family, bringing new soul for Krishna's services. You can see my, my maternal grandfather, he has 11 children. And now we are at his 26 grandchildren. Can you imagine? 26 grandchildren. Everybody devotees. So Lord Chaitanya's mission expanding through marriage or just like a destroying? What? Just to calculate. Now he has so many grandchildren, great grandchildren. I don't know even the numbers. Most of them become devotees. So, what do you mean? So marriage is beneficial for Lord Chaitanya mission or not? In this, in such understanding when we are involving with our family life, that is the perfect life because even in Chaitanya, I mean the Jaiva Dharma, Jaiva Dharma Bhaktivinoda Thakur clearly explained that in this iron age, when age of deception, it is better to practice spirituality from family life instead of renounced life. This is Bhakti Mathakura instruction. Why? You can see all the all the institution, so much institutional politics is there. And you have to be, we have to involve with the politics. As soon as you in, involve the politics, means 
You know, we have to join in one institution. We have to join in one. But it is very difficult. It is very difficult for us to become neutral. Neutral position, uh, if you like, but you will force to involve. That is the situation. Therefore, Bhakti Manat Thakur explained, it is better for the you know, age of deception, it is better to involve, it is better involved in family life and practice spirituality. My grandfather is a perfect exam example. He says, my all God brothers is self-manifested, but self-realized soul. Jivan Mukta Purush. Huh? How? Because he was in a family life, he used to look, they are like expansion of his Gurudev. They are preaching. Nowadays, what we are looking? Ah, ah this devotee is a blah, blah, blah. He, he, he was God bothered, useless. <coughs> we feel reluctant to explain the glories of this, of our God bothered, of other devotees. Only we want to glorify ourselves. I am the best than others. Called name and fame tendency, which is called in, in Bengali language Pratishta. Pratishta, material, this is material Pratishta. I am the best than others. Such tendency is material Pratishta, Mane Jalo Pratishta. Our, my grand spiritual master, His Divine Grace, Srila Bhakti, Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur, he explained, Jala Pratishtha, Shukare Vrishtha. Material name and fame tendency is considered like a stool of hog. Think about what hog are eating. All the stools they are eating. And then all the garbage, all the dirty things they are eating. So their stool, how much dirty is this? So this is the this is the version of our teachings. We have to be very careful. Because day by day we are running towards material attachment more than spiritual attachment. Therefore, we have to always think about what is the problem. We are initiated, we are in temples, we are chanting, why our tendency goes in the wrong direction, not the right direction. Why? If you just think deeply, then you can see our tendency is not matching with Vaishnava tradition yet. Therefore, we have to always think, what is your fault? When you look our own fault, then we should not think about to change. Change the place, change the temple, change the guru, change, you know, so many, always changing, 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 changing. We should not think ourselves to change. It's the main problem for us. You know, in Bengali language, there is explanation is this. <coughs> ah, we have, when, uh, explanation is this, Nije dos dako. You have to look your own fault. Then you can rectify. If you try to rectify others, it is impossible. It is impossible to rectify ourselves. A Vaishnava culture is such a sweet and sweet and peaceful and blissful culture. Why we are in so much uh, discrimination? Why we are involving ourselves in so much discrimination? Because we have name and fame, that tendency. 
So anyway, so name is this Namo Nami Veda Buddhi. So during the chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, try to concentrate your mind towards Lord. Lord's abode, Lord pastime. There is Namo, Rupa, Guno, Lila, Parikara, Vaishishta. Namo. If you are not able to concentrate the Supreme Lord, just think about just think about just hearing the Nam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. Then gradually, gradually heart, your consciousness, your mind will cure. Then eventually you can see that the Lord will reveal there his form, beautiful form, Radha Krishna's form, Rupa. Then reveal in our heart the quality. What is the actual quality of, uh, quality of Supreme Lord? Supreme quality is actually he has lots of lots of loving affection for his devotees. That is quality. Therefore, uh, I can give and I can tell you tomorrow about the quality. There is a Jagannath Dev. Uh, one of his pastimes, he says, "Bhakto Pada Raja is like for my money, the dust of my devotees is like a sandalwood paste for me." Yeah, Jagannath, Lord Jagannath, one of his uh, incident, he explained to the uh, King Purushottam. You know, Purushottam, Purushottam Dev, there is a Jagannath also, he explained once. So anyway, so, Namo Nami Veda Buddhi, don't, don't discriminate between Nam and name, Lord and Lord's name. So we can continue this 51 text tomorrow, 7.30 to 8.30. And also I am giving you, also I am just telling you, from instead of 3 o'clock, only Sunday and Monday will be 3 o'clock, because it will be Australian devotees' purpose. So Sunday, not Sunday, no, Monday and Tuesday, not Sunday. Monday and Tuesday it will be as for uh, only for 3 o'clock and rest of the day I will continue same class but Bengali and Hindi mixing language from 4 o'clock but Monday and Tuesday Monday is Hindi class Hindi language class for the Australian devotee and Tuesday in English class for Australian devotees because their time zone here in India 3 o'clock means they are 7.30 p.m. So therefore, I have to do it. I hope uh, it'll not it'll not take my any offenses if I say anything wrong according to your understanding. Please excuse me and hope to see you and all tomorrow, 7:30. Hare Krishna.